So thank you League of Women Voters and the Recorder and FCAP for sponsoring this forum and for Deerfield for hosting us in this LEED certified building. And I want to thank you for all of the voters for being here and coming out tonight. I've heard from so many of you on your doorsteps and in your driveways that this is a hard decision because there are so many progressive Democrats sitting here at this table. And what's happening in Washington, D.C. right now with this administration is directly impacting Massachusetts. And we have an opportunity. The Massachusetts Constitution, Article 7, and please just let me read this. Government is instituted for the common good, for the protection, safety, prosperity, and happiness of the people, and not for the profit, honor, or private interest of any one man, family, or class of men. Therefore, the people alone have an incontestable, unalienable, and indefeasible right to institute government, to reform, alter, or totally change the same when their protection, safety, prosperity, and happiness require it. That is our Massachusetts Constitution. We have an opportunity. We have an obligation to do what Massachusetts has always done, to lead this nation. And we can be a leader in the fight against climate change. We can institute universal single-payer health care coverage. We can ensure that everyone has access to local, healthy food. We can provide the very strongest safety nets for everyone in our community and those that need it most. I believe that one of the things that sets me apart in this race is my work across all government, local, state, and federal. I've already been working for you. And it is this deep understanding of the legislative process that will allow me to work alongside my colleagues to put in place the mechanisms that will uphold the principles that Massachusetts has always stood for. Our state legislators must raise their voices to protect these beliefs. And as your state legislator, I vow to you that I will raise our voices to ensure that they are heard in the halls of Beacon Hill. So thank you very much. I ask for your vote on September 4th.